Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about learning styles. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about learning styles. So anybody who knows about learning has definitely heard about learning styles. You may even know what yours is, but I want to start way back at the beginning because the concept of learning styles has been around for a very long time. It goes all the way back to Aristotle, who believed that every person, and more specifically, every child, had a certain predestined talent or skill. And this is an idea that has perpetuated for centuries. If you're a teacher out there in the world right now, you've definitely taken seminars or maybe even whole courses and how to best meet the learning style of the child you're trying to teach. But what are learning styles? There are three main learning styles that everyone talks about. The first is auditory learning. Auditory learners, as the name would suggest, learn best through hearing things. So like listening to a teacher talk about a lesson or listening to your favorite YouTuber talk about something awesome. Wink. Wink. Can I just say wink? I'm really bad at winking. The next learning style is visual. And once again, just like the name sounds, visual learners do best learning things visually. So watching how something is done. The last one is kinesthetic, or sometimes they're called tactile learners. Really, a better name would probably be hands-on learners because they learn better when they can interact in some way with their learning. So just by hearing what the learning styles are, can you guess which one you are? What, guesses, guesses, anybody guesses? Well. You're wrong. Why? Well, because learning styles don't actually exist. Remember where I said this idea came from? It was Aristotle. Aristotle was a philosopher. Subscribers to the channel know that while philosophy is incredibly important and may answer some non-scientific questions, philosophers are not scientists and they don't explore whether their ideas can be proven or disproven. That is the job of scientists like psychologists. And in study after study, trying to explore the science, the concept of learning styles has been repeatedly debunked. The myth of learning styles is pervasive. Teachers, you know, the ones who are supposed to be the experts at learning, are still teaching that this myth is very true. Countless time, effort, and money has been wasted on this method that just, unfortunately, it's never gonna work. This is a big deal because it means that kids aren't learning when they could be just because people can't admit when something doesn't work. So, what does the science say does work? Well, first it tells us that the meaning of a concept is probably what's really important, not the mode of learning style. For instance, if I was to try to teach you something like the shape of the state of Texas, right? That information is best going to be learned visually. I can just show you a map. Could I teach it to you other ways? Well, I mean, sure. If I was trying to invest a bunch of money and time and effort into a child who considers himself a kinesthetic learner or tactile learner, I could do this hands on, say with like a shape cut out or a puzzle piece that's shaped like the state of Texas. But what if they're considered an auditory learner? I mean, I guess I could make up a song about it, but I'm probably not going to. <laughs> Just because you might have a preference for how the material is delivered doesn't necessarily mean that's the best, fastest way to learn. It depends on the kind of material you're trying to learn. The other big thing we know from science 
is that you are not destined to be better at one kind of learning than any other. You can learn in many different ways and our brain adapts to make sure that you are learning in the best, fastest way. So say you suffer from an injury to your eyes or maybe you have a learning or processing disability. If you were only a visual learner, that would just mean that you could never learn anything ever again. Frankly, that's just not how things work. In fact, there are studies out there right now that suggest those with learning or processing disabilities and some kinds of physical disabilities might actually be better learners because they don't have such limited preferences and preconceived biases on how they learn. So, if you want to know some more true information about how we learn, make sure you subscribe to Sci vs. Sci so you can get all of our other videos and you can keep learning all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see you later. Bye! If you stayed waiting for the joke, about how I'm going to sing about the shape of Texas? You're in luck.